do when the stock of a high-quality company suddenly goes out of style on the Wall Street fashion show through no fault of its own? I kind of feel like that's a vexing question. Henry Schein, HSIC, largest distributor of dental and veterinary products on Earth, in addition to being a supplier of vaccines. When the company reported a month ago, they delivered a small earnings beat with a slight revenue miss. But more importantly, management gave very strong guidance for 2017, caused the stock to roar up 6% on the news. In the last few weeks, though, Henry Schein has been pummeled. It's falling back almost all the way to where it was before the company reported that quarter. So what's wrong? I don't think there's anything company specific. We ought to find out. But the problem is, is that despite Henry Schein's excellent track record, this is exactly the kind of stock that does well when the economy is less than stellar. No matter what, people keep going to the dentist and tell, taking their pets to the vet. But ever since Donald Trump's surprise victory, investors have been swapping out of these so-called safety stocks like this one and buying the stocks of more cyclical companies that can produce tremendous earnings growth when the economy accelerates. In other words, Henry Schein is, I think, as good as it's always been. But the cyclicals have become a whole lot more attractive thanks to this Trump pro-growth agenda. Still, just because Wall Street has temporarily turned against stocks like this one, that doesn't mean necessarily that you should do the same. Let's check in with Stanley Bergman, the chairman and CEO of Henry Schein, hear more about his company and its prospects. Mr. Bergman, welcome back to Mad Money. How are you? Good to Thank see you. you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Well, you heard what I had to say. And you know, first I was thinking, well, perhaps I know that there had been some slowdown in dental consumables, but you said those picked up in the quarter, right? It's not that. It's not anything vet. Vet is strong. I just have to believe that what people are doing is they're rotating out of Henry Schein because it's going to be consistently good no matter what, and that's not what they want. I don't know, Jim. You know Wall Street better than me. Right. Healthcare stocks, for some reason, are just not fashionable. Having said that, <laughs> we are con a consistent earner. We generate good sales, good EPS growth, and we turn our profits into cash. We've been doing it for... It's our 21st year as a public company. And you've been turning some of that cash into a buyback because yes. you think that the stock has obviously met some level where you think it's, it's great, great value. Well, as a company, we've been buying back a lot of stock right. because of that reason. We're also investing in the business, of course. Right, but I mean, it's odd to see Henry Schein. You know, he saw it was down 5% for the year, and that's not the Henry Schein that we've had no. during what is the slow growth economy. And I think people make snap decisions. I know that's my department. Right. But let's talk about the core business. How strong is, uh, given the fact that we think the humanization of pets is a major story for our time, secular growth, how strong is VET right now? Well, the, the VET business, the companion animal in particular, right. is, has been a good business, a good grower for many, many years. Right. The baby boomers are investing in pets. The people in the developing world are starting to own pets. So the pet economy in general has been very good for companies in that space. All right, how about the vaccine business? Is that strong? Uh, the vaccine business continues to grow. Right. Obviously, prevention is very, very important, and it's an important part of our business in the United States. Now, I noticed that there are some concern by some of the analysts about competition among you and some of the other players in your business, which is something, you know, that, you know we, I'm just going to re, uh, read a William Blair analysis, which just says, Shine management played down the notion of any deterioration in the competitive pricing environment for dental. I mean, I've never really thought that there would be competitive pricing. Is that something new? Jim, every market is competitive. I wish we didn't have competitors. <laughs> right. We're competitive. The market's right. been competitive. I've been in the business for 36 years. I don't remember a year when we've been able to say, wow. There's no the competition leaving us alone. Well, when I read the Henry Schein uh, conference calls and notes, I never have to hear about, like, it's a retailer, that there's a promotional environment. That has no, not happened. No, no. Of course we have our promotions, but uh, the markets are relatively stable, and I think uh, over the long run we will continue, medium run, short term, medium, long run, continue to be in a business that presents good selling prices, decent margins, and that's because we provide good value-added services. Now, uh, you're doing some acquisitions. Talk about those, because I think that that's how you can get accelerated growth that, some, that so many of these uh, momentum funds demand. Right. Well, we, co we continue to have good internal growth. Right. I think our the internal organic growth, growth was very strong this And quarter, we which... continue to be in that region. Right. We've been in the single-digit EPS uh, uh, sales growth right. for a long, long time. And at the same time, we supplement that with several hundred basis points of acquisition growth. It's a strategy that's been in place for a long time. Right. We, we, we continue to have expectations of growing the top line through acquisitions. Of course, acquisitions are only real the day you've signed, but right. there's a, a decent pipeline. All right, so you bought uh, 1.2 million shares during the quarter, an average price of 163. So someone's doing that. I mean, that seems to be a bigger amount than what you have done, or is that just right. consistent... Well, well we, our board approved additional right. amounts of stock to be uh, repurchased, and we continue to believe that's a good place for us to invest our capital right now. And having said that, we are buying businesses as well 
and investing in acquisitions to expand the business. All right, one last question. Uh, you said that other countries, people are starting to adopt uh, are going pets. Is that Brazil? Is that Europe? And where, where are the countries that are? Because this is a thesis that we think is a 20-year thesis, not a 20-day thesis. The area, believe it or not, where our pet business is growing very, very fast is in Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe. Poland, the Czech oh. Republic, Romania. These are markets where we're doing very, very well in the pet business. All right. Growing. Well, look, to me, that's the, you know, to me, that's, I know it's not the largest. Everybody focuses on the dental. But I think that the, the pet business is just a fantastic business. To dental, be in. Don't forget dental. No. Nope. Dental's good. I know pet's dental's good. good and the I physician like, business I, is absolutely, great. Absolutely, absolutely good. That's Stanley Bourbon, Chairman CEO of Henry Shum. We went over every product line. They're all good. It just happens to be that we're in a Trump rally that does not include health care. Man, money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.